Hello, Panthers. Welcome to another Helping Others, where Micah is interviewing Coach Morris. Hi, everybody. We're back at it today with, um, we're back at Helping Others. So today, we're, Helping Others is basically where we get to know people better in our community, teachers, students, most people in Washington. And today I have Coach Morris. I chose Coach Morris is because I am a hatchet. I play for the football team here, and I'm also a Lena Dunn Panther as well. We share some interest. And <laughs> Coach Morris, you ready for me to tell you a joke? Yes, bring it. All right. What are the strongest days of the week? Uh, um, I'm going to say every day. Saturday and Sunday. Every other day is a weekday. Ah, uh, ah, uh, that's good. <laughs> Got me. All right, you ready for some questions? Yes. How long have you been the head coach of the Washington football team? Since February 20, 2020. What are the chances of that? Zero two two zero two zero two zero. All right, you ready for another one? What yeah. is your favorite part about being a coach? This. This is my favorite part about being a coach. Have an opportunity to know people like you. They call them little brothers that are walking the halls being either Lena Dunn Panthers or Washington Hatchets. This is my favorite part about it. It's guys like you. Thank you. How did you get started into football? Um, I was in third or fourth grade and signed up. They had a sign-up sheet, come to school when I was there at Lena Dunn. And I always wanted to play. I was a Husky kid. I was a bigger kid. And even though I was playing basketball and baseball, that's all you really did in Washington then. And um, I was one of the bigger kids in the school, always played in the older groups. And um, I signed up and I loved it. What is your hobby or what did you spend your free time doing? Before this, before this, um, I was my daughters. I have three daughters and I had coached them and followed them in their careers athletically. And um, once they were kind of set up doing their thing, uh, this opportunity came up and I'm totally blessed because the timing and I always knew one day I'd be the head football coach at Washington. I just didn't know when or how, but I always knew I would. We got to keep that same energy. Mm-hmm. As a child in elementary school, who was your ace? And if you didn't know, aces are like adults, like when you were younger, who believed in you. Who was your aces? Mrs. Summers. Miss Summers? My fourth grade teacher. Yeah, she was the first person to tell me the truth. And she wrote on my report card, Joey talks too much. And she got on me with my handwriting because I wrote too small. And Mrs. Summers, and then I'd have to say, um, going backwards, Mrs. Mullins, my third grade teacher, I know really thought a lot of me like she did her other students. I also know that Mr. Sandifer, my fifth grade teacher, or Mr. Palmer, my sixth grade teacher, and my principal, Mr. Lindauer. But my music teacher, Mrs. Myers, I'm sure she thought a lot of me because I remember sitting out in the side in the hallway with her and her giving me the talk. And it was I had a chance to be a, a lead role in our production. And I didn't believe I could do it. And she told me I could. And um, I had a little role in our little Western show on the stage there at school. And I was um, I believe she did, too. And I think her name was Mrs. Price, um, actually. And um, that um, it wasn't one person, buddy. Honestly, there was a lot of people, and um, and I, and I had a lot of aces. And that's a good thing in life, having a lot of aces in the hole, because you never know when you're going to want to pull those out. All right. <laughs> All right. Were you ready to tell everybody bye? Yo, you got any questions for me? I do. I do. It's not really a question. It's a statement. I want you to know how proud I am of you and all your peers. They're walking the halls of Lena Dunn.
I can't wait to meet you guys. And I want you to know, you guys are all going to do something great. I'm going to give you something you don't know. Some of the most successful people I know from Washington, Indiana, were West End Lena Dunn kids. And every one of you are going to be rock stars in whatever you choose to do. And I can't wait to meet you in person and tell you the stories behind some of the greatest people I've ever met that came from the West End and Lena Dunn. Entrepreneurs, millionaires, attorneys, judges, executives, teachers, coaches, and just all around great people. All are from the West End and Lena Dunn. And I can't wait to tell you guys about it, okay? All righty. All right. You ready to tell Thank you. You ready to tell everybody that's washing by? Yeah. It's a great day to be a hatchet, but it's even a better day to be a Lena Dunn Panther. Right. Have a great day. All right. Bye, everyone. Okay. Thank you, Micah and Coach Morris. It was a great episode of Helping Others.